I said I'm sorry. Well, there's not a lot we can do about it now, is there? Well, there is. I could apologise for shouting at you, which I have, and you could forgive me and we could try and enjoy this holiday. I don't think being sarcastic is really going to help, do you? No. Yeah, I said I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> okay, what do you mean, okay? You're taking the piss? I said I can't breathe, I could be dying. Well, you're not, are you? How do you know? <coughs> Take it, you heard my mother next door, she probably is dying. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, I am sweating cobs, I'm telling you. I can't breathe, I'm so hot. For fuck's sake, will you either get up or shut up? My head's banging like a shit house door in a gale. Nobody forced you to drink a bottle of Baileys on the plane. <sighs> no, it's too hot. Right, that's it, get out! All right. ah, it's all right, calm down. Do you want out from shops? Sun cream, we didn't get any. Yeah, all right. Mum, get out from the shops. <laughs> Ow. We need to buy some sun cream. It's uh, for the kids. Mom, I'm hungry. Do I from shops? <coughs> I'm up to see my flip flops. I think she's swallowed them. <coughs> get up, get up. I'm up. Look at the people. Chill out, Gavin. Don't tell me to chill out. I told you we should have gone for named apartments. We don't get £200 each all-inclusive with named apartments. Come on, let's have some breakfast. That's if there's any left after these fat pigs have been at the trough. Oh, look at the slim see girl. Morning. Morning. Donald Stewart. This is a wife, Jacqueline. Demanded we join you. The Germans will be down in a minute and the females can be a bit whiffy this time of the morning. I've nothing against overweight women per se, but not when they smell of sausage. I'm Martin, this is Kate. Good to know you. Are you poolside? Poolside? Does your apartment overlook the pool? No, apparently we're overlooking the wheelie bins and our room's not ready. Oh, God, 1 to 26. Check your toilet when you get in. They don't flush. When were we there? 96. Got here at 3 in the morning, and Donald went to spend a penny, and there was a shite looking up at him the size of a tuna baguette. Terrible. Would not flush. We had to sleep with the balcony door open. We got to the Wednesday, and Donald had to tackle it himself with a pointed stick. Mm. Did you try the black pudding? It's very good. Yeah. Capital of Chile. Santiago. Capital of Ethiopia. Addis Ababa. Capital of... Oh, can we have a break, son? What's wrong with you? This is educational. No, it's just that my eyes are hurting. Aye, all right. Here we are. What about presidents? Do you want to test me on presidents? Unbelievable. Right, are we all ready? Did you know Vanessa Phelps is going out with a black man? Come on, tell. You're going to take your coat off in Spain, love. Where's my dad gone? Big black fella. I always thought she was Jewish. Come on, love. It's boiling outside. You'll feel sick in that. Michael, get a move on. We're going outside. Just shows you can never tell, can you? Are you ready? I've been ready since seven. Michael, what are you doing? Christ almighty. Give me that. Get in there. Mum, what have I told you about leaving your lighters lying around? Oh, that's right. Blame me. I'll be dead soon. You can blame me for that as well. We'll all be dead if he doesn't stop digging around with your lighters. I'm not the only one round here that smokes. Fuck off, you smelly witch. Hey, that's enough from you, lady. Your nana doesn't smell. Well, I'm off. I'm not sitting here listening to that, Bill. I'm going to get some sun. 
Is that what you're going to be doing this sort of day? Reading. Well, some of it. Some of what? Some of the book or some of the holiday? Some of the book, some of the holiday, I should imagine. Don't be smart, Martin. No, 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 no! Martin! Katie! What are you doing over there? Hi! For God's sake, man, you'll be in the shade come one o'clock. Over here! Over here! What are you doing? They seem nice. <laughs> Me, it's boiling. Lovely, that bit of sun. Mum, I'm hungry! We're going to get something to eat now. It's too hot. Don't you start. Tony! Take that coat off. Nobody here cares how fat you are. Mother! Where's Mick? He's been gone ages. He'll be all right. I don't give a frig if he's all right or not. I've only got ten cigs left. I'm off in the coat. Michael, be careful. You're going to take that coat off. Piss off! Hey, I've warned you. You know what would happen if I spoke to my grandmother like that. I think she's dead. Mum! Help! Mum! Oh, my God, Michael. Jesus Christ! Mum! 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 Here, bring him here. What do you think you're doing? I told you to be careful. He'll have ruined that football top I bought him. Are you all right? Oh. It's rubbish here. Of course he's all right. He's just playing silly beggars. Ooh, you're a big fat lad, aren't you? You're all right. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Not bad for three euro. Oh, I know if it's all cheap as chips out here. Uh, the name's Mick, by the way. Is it now? Hey, do you think I'd get away with these? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should wear the gold ones. Oh, and uh, why is that? They'd match a wedding ring. <laughs> I mean, you won't find a more broad-minded couple here, will they, Jacqueline? Oh, no. A friend of mine, Jim Turner, army lad, six foot three, known him 35 years. Last year, he turns around to me and he says, Donald, I want to be a woman. I said, you go for it, son. I don't know where you get shoes to fit you, but you go for it. You only live once. Grasp the nettle with both hands. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Television heartthrob. Five and eight. Bruce for side. Yeah. Aye, aye, fill your boots. Where have you been? The hunter has returned with food for his hungry family. <laughs> Get off! Hey, you want to see it out there? It's mental. It's like Blackpool with some. He's been up to no good. I know that yeah. look on a man's face. I had it for 30 years with your father. Oh, dear. Did the washing up liquid on your wheels not work? I thought you'd be trapped under your chair in the deep end by now. Dear. Yeah. Do you want them, Madge? Do you want them? Fetch! Ah. <laughs> I've been nowhere near that pool, but your son has. Fell in and nearly drowned, and where were you? It was bullying, Dad. You should have seen me. I nearly died. <laughs> he pushed him in. You want to be careful how many of those hot dogs you eat or that coat won't fit you. Right, that's enough. So where have you been? You know where I've been? I've been to the shops. What? And that took an hour and a half. Where is this shop? Fleetwood? <laughs> this sun cream's half empty. Yeah, well, it were half price. And where did you get them flip-flops? I hope you didn't use my money for it. No, I didn't. I just found them outside. I want to go outside. Is it really like Blackpool, Dad? You're going nowhere, son. You're staying in here. Why? Because out there, you've got to pay for stuff. Whereas in here, it's all free. <laughs> <laughs> so then what happens is they cut down the length of the penis, take out all the gubbins, the bits in the middle, and poke that flappy shaft back up, making an artificial vagina. <laughs> Twenty six. 
over there with the suitcases. No reasonable offer refused. <laughs> and the Oracle. All right. What's that? Nickname? Rainy Lancashire Pub Quiz Champion. Unbeaten since 1993. All right. Smashing. You here with the wife? No. No, Mum. Oh, I see. Is she okay? Yeah. She always looks like that. <laughs> Sorry, no cash. All inclusive. I'll give you later. Okay. Oh, God. We've waited all morning for this. It's fine. I'm not going to be spending much time in here anyway. No, we're not. Is you okay? Get off me. I didn't want to come here in the first place. My mother was right. It's time apart we need, not together. I thought I might have a swim. There's a bar in the pool. Martin, just because the drinks are included on this so-called holiday doesn't mean you have to go mad. Everyone likes a drink, nobody likes a drunk. What if I go for a swim but don't have the drink? Do what you want. Okay, will you get some sleep? Here, yeah, knock the door after me. A Demi John's of barley wine in the conservatory that will be vying for my attention when I get home. Yes, a few of the lads round, open a few bottles of homebrew, loosen up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your mum doesn't like having a lot of people in the house. Oh, really? I'm very lucky in that respect. Jacqueline is very accommodating. Very accommodating. Ah, yes. Night before we flew out, I had six of the lads round, the crazy gang. All good lads, you know. The thing is, if you've got a beautiful wife, to me it would seem churlish to keep it to yourself. <laughs> Mind you, at the end of the night, her vagina looked like a pair of padded coat hangers. I had to pay for extra legroom for her on the plane. I better check on me, ma'am. Yeah. Make sure she's still breathing. <laughs> oh. What time is it? After six. Where's the key? Shit. One of these Spanish have a kip in the afternoon. It's called a siesta. Dad, can I have a siesta? Of course you can, son. It's all inclusive. How long are you going to be? We're missing all the free booze. I thought we were going into the old town. I'm not wasting these new jeans on a room full of pikey breeders. All sitting in their Primark clothes, singing country and western songs while they force feed their boss eye ginger kids buckets of turkey twizzlers. Oh, come on, you make it sound so much fun. They do a proper dinner in this bar, don't they? Yes, they do, and it's all free, so get a move on. Hey. Not too many turkey twizzlers for you. You won't get into them jeans by the end of the week. Come on. Have a 
bloody nose. Look! Oh my <laughs> God, my man! Shit! Nana's dead. I can't believe you didn't bring her in. Oh, yeah, because you really missed her when you were getting ready, didn't you? Um, my Nana's dead. Could we still got to the pub? Ma'am? Ma'am, can you hear me? Mum, I'm really sorry. Mum. Ah! Oh, what do you think you're doing, creeping around in the dark? I nearly shot myself. What, what time is it? Where have you been? We haven't been anywhere. We just... We just thought you'd want to get the last of the sun. The last of the sun? It's pitch black. Come on. I need a drink. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Neptune's Bar. You must remember to wear your own inclusive wristbands at all times, remembering Neptune's motto. If you want to get pissed, then show us your wrist. Also tonight at Neptune's we have karaoke night, and if you want to join in the fun, you will find pen and paper at the front, so don't be shy. Come up and put your name down there. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have our lovely Tony here. I'm not sitting next to Benny Hill. Did you see them by the pool? That's why he's got a bigger packet than me. What about something vegetarian? There's veggie lasagna. Or what about a baked potato? You'd be fine with that. Good scrum, that, isn't it? Mm, my liver was black. You're all right. It'll match your lungs. <laughs> Where were you? In my day, you had to ask permission to leave the table. Are you still alive? Oh, that's enough, you two. You're not spoiling tonight. We've had a lovely tea, and now we're going to get rat out for free. <laughs> hey, what a holiday. Hey, let's not forget who's paid for this holiday. Not much chance of that. Thanks, ma'am. Right, boys and girls, first cab off the rank tonight for our karaoke is Chantel singing You Raise Me Up. Come on, Chantel. Hey! Come on, Chantel. Do you want to take your coat off, darling? It's hot up there, you know. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Chantel! I know we're not the perfect family, and I wouldn't want that. But I am so proud of all of you. And I really think this is going to be a lovely holiday. Oh. Mm. Hiya, Mick. Good job you didn't wear those gold flip-flops. We'd have clashed. Who the fuck is that? You want a pizza? Oh, here we are. Prawn salad. If I ask them to do it without mayonnaise. Kate, do you want the prawn salad? No, Martin, I don't want a prawn salad. What do you want? I want a baby. You've been through this. You know I can't give you a baby. Then I want a divorce. I said, who the fuck is that? I've no idea. Well, how does she know your name? Who is she, Denham fucking Brown? Tell, tell. Can you hear me, darling? Take your coat off, she'll be roasted. Get off of you. 
Are you all right, love? Oh, oh my God, she's pregnant. Didn't you know she was pregnant? To tell you, ambulance, quick, come on. Just breathe, tell, breathe in and out. Yeah. Ring us, Jan, ring us. I've got money. I suppose I've got to pay for that as well. Will you leave it, Madge? Please leave it. It's a fine way to start the holiday. Put your foot down now, Pedro.